set. What is set? A set is the collection of well-defined objects or members or elements. For example, A equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B equals the set of A, E, I, O, U. P equals the set of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Here, in every set A, B and P, all these elements or members are well defined. A set can be written in three ways or methods. They are description method, listing method, also called rooster method, and set builder method, also called real method. Let's write a set in three different ways. Description method. For example, A equals the set of whole numbers less than 6. In listing method, it becomes a equals the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in set builder method, it becomes A equals the set of x such that x belongs to whole number where x is less than 6. On the basis of number of elements of sets, there are four types of sets. They are number 1, empty or null set. Empty or null set does not contain any element. It is written as A equals open curly bracket and close bar curly bracket. It is denoted by phi. Number two, unit or singleton set. Unit or singleton set contains only one element. For example, A equals to the set of 1, P equals to the set of A. Number three, finite set. Finite set contains finite number of elements. For example, W equals to the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 50. Number 4, infinite set. Infinite set contains infinite number of elements. For example, W equals to the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. On the basis of types of elements contained by two or more sets, the type of the relationship can be defined in four ways. They are Number one, equal sets. Equal sets have exactly the same elements. For example, A equals the set of A, E, I, O, U and B equals the set of U, I, O, E, A. Here, elements in set A are exactly the same as the elements in set B. So, set A and set B are equal sets. Number two, equivalent sets. Equivalent sets have equal number of elements. For example, a equals the set of A, E, I, O, U and B equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, the number of elements in set A is 5 and number of elements in set B is also 5. Since the number of elements in set A and set B are equal, they are called equivalent sets. Number 3, overlapping sets. Overlapping sets have at least one common element. For example, a equals the set of A, E, I, O, U and B equals the set of A, B, C, D, E. Here, element A and E are present in both set A and set B. Here, A and E being the common elements in both set A and set B, it makes set A and set B overlapping sets. Number 4, disjoint sets. Disjoint sets do not have any common elements. For example, a equals the set of A, E, I, O, U and B equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, there is no any common between set A and set B. So, they are disjoint sets. Now, let's learn about subset and superset. Let's take three sets, set A, B and C. A equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. B equals the set of 2, 4, 6, 8. And C equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, every element of set B is contained by set A and number of elements of set B is not equal to set A. So, B is a proper subset of A and denoted as B subset of A, proper subset of A. And A is called superset of B and denoted as A is super subset of B. Also, 
Every element of set C is contained by set A and number of elements of set C is equal to set A. So, B is also the subset but it is an improper subset of A and it is noted as given here. Now let's see universal set. What is universal set? A set under the consideration from which many subset can be formed is known as a universal set. It is noted by capital letter U or Psi. Psi is a Greek letter. For example, U equals the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up to 15. Number of subsets can be formed from a set can be calculated by using formula n equals 2 power n here where n equals number of elements of set from which subsets can be formed. Now let's learn about the set operations and use of Venn diagrams. There are four main set operations. They are union of sets, intersection of sets, difference of two sets and complement of a set. First, let's see union of sets. The union of sets A and B is the set of all members that belong either to A or to B or to both A and B. For example, if A equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, B equals the set of, the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, then A union B equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Diagrammatically, it can be represented like this. Here, the stated reason represents A union B in a Venn diagram. Number two, intersection of sets. The intersection of sets A and B is the set that contains the elements common to both A and B. For example, if A equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4 and B equals the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, then A intersection B equals 2, 4. Let's see it diagrammatically. Here, the stated reason represents A intersection B. If there are three sets A, B and C, then you can see on the diagram, the shaded part represents A intersection B intersection C. It means the elements that is present in A, B and C as well. Number three, difference of two sets. The difference of sets A and B is the set of elements of A which do not belong to B. For example, if A equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4 and B equals the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, then A minus B equals 1, 3. You can see in the diagram, you can see in the Venn diagram, the shaded region represents A minus B, difference of A. Similarly, on the second figure, on the second Venn diagram, the shaded region represents B minus A. Number 4. Complement of a set. If A be the subset of a universal set U, then complement of A is the set of elements of U which do not belong to A. For example, if U equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and A equals the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, then A complement is equal to the set of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10 as shown in the diagram. The shaded region with light blue color shows A complement in Venn diagram. The other figure here, this Venn diagram shows A union B complement. Now let's learn about cardinality of sets. What is cardinality of sets? The cardinal number of a set is called its cardinality and Cardinal number of a set is the number of elements present in that set. For example, if U equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and A equals the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, then cardinal number of U is and U equals 10 and of A is and A equals 4. Now, let's learn about cardinality relations of two sets. 
the relations are n u equals n a union b plus n a union b complement where n a union b equals n a plus n b minus n a intersection b also n a union b equals n only a plus n only b plus n a intersection b where n a equals n only a plus n a intersection b and n b equals n only b plus n a intersection b these are the main cardinality relations of two sets these relations can be modified for the other terms as well you can observe in this figure and find out the relations by ourselves now let's see cardinality relations of three sets in three sets n u equals n a union b union c plus n a union b union c complement where n a union b union c is equal to n a plus n b plus n c minus n a intersection b minus n b intersection c minus n a intersection c plus n a intersection b intersection c by observing the venn diagram and its parts we can further make the relationships between these terms by ourselves okay that's all for today i'll meet you in the next video